I have a new project. I'm building an axe, but not just any axe, a modern Viking war axe fit for a king. So there's a few things that have come together here to make this idea. First, it seems like almost on a subconscious level I've just been interested in making an axe. Second, it's my love of the Elder Scrolls series and Skyrim in particular, and the Nords. Then Vikings, the series, and in particular Ragnar and Travis Fimmel who plays him, and just the brilliant performance created there. So I take those two concepts and imagine Travis Fimmel playing Ragnar in the Skyrim Nordic Viking world, uh, but he's immortal, time has passed, and it's now the modern age, but he still rules. And I have a meat set up with him, and I want to take something to show respect, so that's my challenge, starting with this thing that you've seen, and making it modern enough, and special enough, but also respectful enough to the traditions of Skyrim to be gifted to right now Lothbrook in the modern age. Hope that makes sense! So I suppose you're wondering why I start with this thing. Uh, a couple of reasons. First, I don't have a forge. I would like a forge, and it's something I will work towards in the future for sure, but for now I don't have one, so I need a starting point that's realistic. Second, I would like these projects to be accessible to other people as well. Like, it's my goal with this to create a DIY product of sorts, so I supply like the kit required and the tools if you don't have them to do these kinds of projects, so you can do them for yourselves as well. So for those two reasons, I'm starting with just a random old apps that I found that anyone can find anywhere. So I've defined my logical parameters for this design, and now it's going to be more or less an exercise of just letting go of control and just play on the page, start drawing, and see what happens. So just starting out real simple and working with the shape of the head of the axe that I want to get in there and just starting to play with some ideas. So I like this curve for the front of it. That means I need to weld an extra piece on the bottom and some more on the top. I'm just trying to decide for the back whether I like this little spiky piece here or whether I just want it to flow down and meet. I'm not exactly sure what the spike would even be used for. I mean, it kind of just seems like a place you could stab yourself in the hand. Okay, no spike. So I've got the overall shape of the axe now, it's just moving forward and detailing in a bit more. So the teeth are from a dragon that Ragnar, or the king of Skyrim, has defeated in the past, and I've somehow found them and now included them in his axe. So it's a bit more personal to him. An inspiration for the overall form is the Dawnguard war axe. When I saw the shape, the flow of the handle into the spike is really what I like. Okay, so I think I'm happy with it. So I'm going to move on to the handle. Also, what kind of axe this is going to be. Because it's looking like a war axe, right? Like a one-handed axe. However, the weight of this axe, if we hold it at the war axe kind of level, it's far too heavy to use like that. So it's more than likely going to need to be a two-handed axe, especially because I'm going to be adding more weight to this. It just takes too much energy to stop it from moving. Just attempt them to figure out the handle here. Okay, well it's getting somewhere. It's definitely not right yet. Um, played around with adding these like extra spikes on here, but it looks a bit tacked on. Just it gives it a more brutal look, but this is probably not what I'm really going for. I'm trying to mix in some more modern elements. I'm still kind of playing with shapes and stuff. Okay, designing's done. I am finding myself just getting hung up on stupid details at this point, which I'm going to need to figure out as I do it anyway, and will probably change, so done designing, and it's time to actually get going on the build! The design's obviously super rough at this point, uh, it's on purpose because I can totally adapt and iterate the thing as I'm making as well, which keeps that process uh, alive from a creative point of view. I like to keep this stuff balanced, left and right brain, creative and practical, logical, or I get bored. I can definitely see some interesting challenges in here. First and foremost is going to be the shape of the handle, so bending wood, which I've never done before, um, but that's why I'm doing this stuff, to do new things, new challenges, and obviously welding a whole bunch of new metal to the head, and then also working with Delrin, this stuff. I'm going to incorporate some of that to make, like, grips, and also to make that more modern. But yeah, pretty excited to actually get going on to building this thing. I'm sick of designing at this point, so I'm just going to do it.
Guys, if you want to follow the project and future projects, the best way by far is to sign up to the email list. This is where all the premium content's going to go, and you'll be kept totally up to date. I also have some special offers and stuff that I post just to the premium content email subscribers. If you want to do that, there's a link in the description. You'll also get a 15% discount voucher for the store that I've got up. It's called Modern Viking, and it's got a whole bunch of, well, just trust me, take a look. You'll find something you like. I know I did because I bought half of it. It's also a great way to support the projects and ensure I can keep doing this. So links in the description. Thanks for checking this out and I'll see you soon. Bye.